Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Varmelo VA87M in the Sakura Pink variant of this keyboard. Now, first off, this keyboard is very, very pretty. I bought it for my mom who wanted a keyboard and I wanted to get her something pretty high quality. So I went for Varmelo who's known for having pretty high quality pre-builds. Now this keyboard is not hot swappable if you were interested in that, but it's offered in a variety of different Cherry MX switches that you can choose from. When it comes to the unboxing experience, this is a very, very beautiful box that it comes in. The art on it is very pretty and it fits the whole aesthetic that this keyboard is trying to go for. Inside the box, you get the keyboard itself, a nice pink wire. The wire is detachable, but the only sad part about it is that it's micro USB. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much because it's a keyboard, but I would have wished to have seen a USB Type-C cable instead. And it also comes with a switch puller. Now that switch puller is pretty high quality as far as switch pullers go. You know, I've seen some pretty cheap ones, but this one is pretty well textured on the actual switch puller itself. So that is very nice to see. This keyboard also supports elevation. It has one level of elevation instead of two, and it goes from no elevation to a high elevation. It doesn't have a middle ground, but it's just honestly up to you whether or not you want to use it elevated or not. So I'm glad they gave you the option for that. The keyboard itself is made out of a hard plastic, but it's a nice hard plastic and it fits the pink theme very well. I really do like the space bar because of the design on it. And it isn't some blurry image on a space bar. It's very high quality and I'm glad that it looks the way it does. Now the keyboard is in a TKO layout, which means you get the FN row but you do not get the numpad. Now this keyboard also supports pink backlit LEDs, but it does not support RGB. It offers full backlit mode or breathing mode. In order to enable each mode, all you have to do is click the FN key and the right arrow, and that'll change the modes. And to speed up the breathing or slow it down, you do FN plus up or down arrow. And to make it brighter or dimmer when it comes to the backlit mode, you use FN up or down arrow as well. Now the one problem I have with this keyboard is the keycaps. Not the fact that they're bad quality because these keycaps are very, very high quality and they feel very nice to type on. The only problem I have is that the modifiers bleed a lot when it comes to the lighting. Now this doesn't really matter to you if you don't like to use backlit like me, but I just thought I'd let you guys know so you just know what you're getting yourself into. The light does shine a lot through them on the modifiers more so than on the actual white keys themselves. When it comes to the keycaps themselves, they are double shot PVT and are very high quality and like I said, are very nice to type on. So you're not gonna have to worry about changing your keycap set anytime soon. When it comes to the switches, I chose Cherry MX Browns because this keyboard is for my mom. She's not really used to mechanical keyboards and I feel like this is a good intro beginner switch that's not too loud especially because she didn't like that now when it comes to the typing experience this is very nice to type on and i was pleasantly surprised to see how well these stabilizers sounded and felt especially the space bar which tends to have the most rattle to it had the least rattle out of all the stabilizers it was very thocky and sounded very nice and felt nice as well i'll be leaving a sound test here so you guys can see how this keyboard sounds So yeah, overall this keyboard does sound and feel very great. There is some slight ping in this keyboard, but it's not too unbearable that it's very, very loud. And you can probably mod it towards where you can get rid of that ping altogether. Overall, this keyboard is very, very nice. And I would recommend it to anyone who wants to get a pink cute keyboard for their setup. And you can honestly not go wrong with this keyboard, especially because of all the switch options that it comes with. Now I'll be leaving a link to it in the description below. But other than that, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.